Hey guys, welcome to Nerd Locker Podcast, your entertainment podcast for everything movies, television, video games, and more. My name's Adam. And I'm Oliver. And today we are going to be going over some random trailers. The first one, everyone's talking about it. We're going to talk about it. GTA 6. You know what's crazy about that? What? So we got a release date because we talked about it the uh, last we, episode. We talked about this last episode, yeah. December 6th. Yeah. Leaked. Yep. December 5th. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought that was hilarious. I was like, I got, I started getting messages and I was like, what the fuck is this in the middle of work? And um, I was like, it, it's, what, what's the day? What, what day is it? Yeah. It's, it, it got fucking leaked. Yeah. But yeah. it got leaked. It looks good. It looks really good. It looks real pretty, um, pretty guys, fucking hilarious. So in case you guys haven't known, we live in GTA 6. Yeah. We, <laughs> we live in the uh, southern Florida locations, kind of. We know about it all. We we live in Florida. That's about it. And so basically anything in GTA 6 that we saw are articles we've read the day after they happened. Yeah, including uh, the Joker. Real life Joker. The, the, the real life Joker That's that been, like, was... Really, yeah. What the fuck is that? What is that? We're not going to talk about it. No, I, I kind of... But like... I, was it good? Did they say damaged? Because no, it should have been. No, no. This was, I think, before. Oh, was it before? I think so. I don't Whoa, know. Yeah. hold on. That's kind of troubling then. Jared Leto. Where are you pulling <laughs> ideas from? Florida? It wasn't Jared Leto. It was David Ayer. I, same question. Yeah. Different name. We'll see. I'm Damn, not... dude. I mean, so. All the crazies come from Florida. It, it looks good. We still got to wait another two years for it. Well, technically a year. Depending on when in 2025. Yeah, they just said 2025, which yeah. I know people are mad about. I think it's going to be, like, spring. Yeah, I, yeah. that it's sounds gonna right. It's going to be a summer game. Like, it yeah, has to I be think a summer so. game. I yeah. think so. I mean, if, if they're advertising, you know, like a reiteration of Vice City, which is basically Miami. Yeah. We're going to get, I mean, we got the Everglades in the fuck. You can airboat around. Yeah. You can jet ski now. We don't oh know any God. of the voice actors. Uh, they are not yet. confirmed yet. Yeah, for the main characters. People it's are like trying a, to figure it out. If you guys know, comment down a, below. A couple now. It's like a Bonnie and Clyde type thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. I mean... it's a lot going on. Yeah. It came out. And then, speaking of video games, uh, we also have... Well, I mean, before we go on to that, um, what, like, how excited are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Oh, definitely excited. I, I want to explore every... On 1 to 10, though. Oh, 10. Okay. For well, me, you, we've I been waiting 11 games. years for this game. I, Us gamers have been waiting 11 yeah, years. Yeah, I know. I so, know. it's been a bit... Yeah. It's like waiting for a Marvel movie for 11 years. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're waiting for Endgame after Infinity War. Yeah, that's that's what we're doing. Okay. I so see. yeah, that's it's a huge deal in the gaming community. Um, will it be sustainable? Because it's gonna definitely gonna try and push sales for like people getting a PS5 or a new PC. Because mm. I don't think mine can even run it. Probably not. Whatever people see behind me, this fucking thing, I don't think can run it. Um, and it's probably not even going to be released on PS4 if it's coming out 2025. No, I don't think so either. So if you, if they do release it for PS4, just mm -hmm. prepare for a fire in your house. Yeah. Because there's going to be so much high resolution that your also, PS4 you're might gonna blow have strippers up. strippers in your house and cars in your house. You will have strippers and cars and, on your TV. And gators in your house and jokers in your house. Did I mention hookers? All you do is fuck hookers, huh? In every GTA? That's all I know about it. That's crazy to me. Because there's so much shit to do. I... Damn. Sorry. Oh, my God. Can we make a goal for Adam to play GTA 5? <clears throat> no. Oh. Fine. At least one person comment. At least one. Yeah. Go sure. ahead. I dare you. I'll Not comment. you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not... You or anyone associated with you. This has to be a legit person out there that just wants to see someone else suffer in life. That you don't know me prior. You don't know this fuck prior. Prior. So a new, like, if I stream tomorrow. Brand new. Brand new person has to come. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can do that. All right. Guys, can we do that? <laughs> <laughs> um. So. But yeah, we're all really excited about the game. So now right. going into more of a, of a film aspect, but still a video game, Fallout. I, we're a little late right. with this, guys. These are a couple things that have been out for a while, but we might as well just throw it all in there and get all this, our thoughts on all this. So Fallout. This came out literally the day after we filmed. Yeah. Yeah, or recorded. Uh, it 
It looks great. I think it looks really good. Mm-hmm. Um, will it be up to par with L- the uh, Last of Us, considering it's a TV show or a game adapted I don't into a TV think show? So. I think HBO does things a little bit better than Prime will. I don't know. Oh my god, I don't know. The boys fuck shit I, up. I know. I know. And the Fallout games fuck shit up. This is gonna be. This is gonna be fight. It's gonna be fun. This it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun. fight to the death amongst a lot of like video like okay guys, like video games, animes, like everything is now finally getting adapted in a good way, which even makes me I don't know why this makes me more excited for Avatar. Like I'm just like all these adaptations <laughs> have, Listen, have just, just been Aang is just Omni Man all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> Omni no more like Peter Griffin and Fortnite. Yeah, but dude, uh ridiculously buff by the way. Yeah. Um I'm ex- that I'm excited for. We'll see how that works out. If they're gonna do multiple seasons or if this is gonna be a mini series, right? Um, I think I'll do maybe at least two because Halo on f- that was one that did. That's the thing. Halo like, was also on Halo, Paramount Plus and, and Paramount, Paramount Plus. Paramount. Halo did not well. No, but that was also of recent. So like, I definitely understand where some people, like even myself, are hesitant on these video game adaptations because it's like we're still in that hit or miss territory, and The Last of Us. Yeah, showed where the standard is, but that doesn't mean everyone's going to be hitting that standard going forward. I um, also noticed. I feel like a lot of people hated the Halo Five because Nights did not like Five Nights was successful because of its Five Nights, like, Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, like that movie was successful for the fact that it's a recognizable property. But I don't think as a movie, if it was released and there was no prior Five Nights at Freddy stuff, I Five think Nights it is done fine well. as a movie. I did not want Five Nights as a TV show. No, no, I know that. I'm just saying in general, like, an adaptation. Like, okay. if Five Nights didn't exist, like, the video games, all stuff, and this movie just came out as is, it would not have done as well. They wouldn't have done the movie. Period. Yeah, the they only reason... They did Willy's Wonderland. So Willy's some... Wonderland is amazing. I know, but it's just a matter of time before they repeat but that well, stuff. The only reason they did Five Nights is because it's a super solid money grab. It's it is. cheap. Because they've already, I just don't people, like, someone have already done five or Willie's. I just did not like Josh Hutcherson in that. Like, I, I oh, is he bad now? I, no, I just I couldn't believe him as a character. Like, I'm not gonna lie. in the movie, it, I couldn't he, follow him. Would you say he's a good actor in like the Hunger Games? No, I don't think so either. No, in I Zathura, don't. I really great. don't like him as an actor. And he's he's in something else recently. I yeah. can't remember. I he's don't know what it is. not the best. He's not great. It's a jawline, dude. No, it's his we have every emotion he does is the same. It, yeah, same. We have to chew more gum. We need a jawline. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's what it is. We gotta actually get rid of the beards. We have to, no. <laughs> you no. did at one point. We have video evidence. I don't know what you're talking. About. Um, but uh, another trailer that we watched. Um, we will get into. But before that, here's a word from our sponsor. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist in their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. If your therapist isn't the right fit for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom-picked for you, more scheduling flexibility, and at a more affordable price. Get 10% off at your first month at betterhelp.com slash nerdlocker, and that's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash nerdlocker. And we've also linked them down below in the description. And we're back. So the other thing that we watched was Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, as well as uh, the Kong Godzilla Kong new movie, a new empire, new empire, two monkey movies um, about monkeys. Um, It's true. Yeah. And (laughs) not the same kind of premise. Uh, One obviously has a lizard attached to it, but um, (laughs) yeah. Kingdom, right? (laughs) Yeah. Guess which one? Um, I we haven't had a Planet of the Apes movie in seven years, and we've had Which a Godzilla movie every month, basically. And <laughs> every I think it's every two weeks an episode's coming up for Monarch on Apple TV. Look, I'm just saying there's a lot of Godzilla going on. And yeah, I don't know where that trend is coming from. Godzilla minus one came out, and that one did pretty well. What is that? It was a movie that just recently came out that was made in Japan, but I know came like dubbed, or not dubbed. I think subbed. But to... is it connected? Not to this. Oh, okay. 
but it's a Godzilla movie. There's okay. Multiple Godzilla movies. There's so movies many. I, I did yeah. not know that came out. Uh, yeah, it did really, really well. What is it on? It's out in the theaters. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Oh shit! Wow. Okay. Um. So, I like for me to go because my thoughts on the Kong one can be really quick. I don't personally watch the Godzilla movies. Like, they don't even fucking have dialogue. Like, okay, if you guys love love it, like, I'm not I'm not shitting on people that love it. What I'm saying is like, <laughs> how? What is he anymore? Is he a monster? Is he a protector? Like, what the fuck is He's going alpha, on? He's alpha, dude. But, like, what's going on? Are they just like, we're not going to fight it because we're just going to die. So we're no, just going to be friends with it. He's, it's basic animal instinct. Fuck he has off. to. No, fuck you. But why he is Godzilla be, pop? What is can, it? I, can, I, can I explain? Are you going to. No, you know what? Go ahead. No, this is go your ahead. podcast. Go ahead. No, no go, no, go ahead. ahead. Yeah? Go ahead. Thank you. It's my turn to talk now. He is like Godzilla 1 and Alpha. No one else exists. He's like, I'm going to fuck shit up, and I'm going to try my best to coexist with these humans because I'm not an idiot. Good for you, Godzilla. He does do that eventually. And then try to take over the world with his BBs. But then, what? Again, there's no... How are we knowing that this is what it's doing? Just watch the fucking movie. I'm... And then Kong is like, bruh, nah, this is my territory. And he's like, dude, no. And then they fight. And then there's this other monster and this other monster that comes up like, dude, fucking let's just let's just battle royale this shit out. And then they team up and fight this other monster. And then the humans are making this mechanical monster because they think they're better humans, idiots, obviously. And then um, they destroy the mechanical monster. And now Kong and Godzilla defeated everyone. And we have to fight somebody else, which I don't know who that is. It's just monster versus monster. There's actually a Nintendo game based on it, too. Also, uh, The Rock is in a movie called Rampage. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I think we actually talked about that in one, uh, one of our earlier episodes. Um, okay, well... It's just monsters fighting monsters who could be the best and fine. try to coexist with humans. Again, not just like GTA, I can't really put it on a scale because I'm not excited, but I'm assuming you are, so where are you at? Um, no, it's going to be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be really bad. I did watch the first episode of uh, Apple TV's Monarchs, uh -huh. which takes place like in between movies. Weirdly enough, it sounds like just a giant waste of money. But I watched the first episode and I was like, wow, 10 seconds of Godzilla. And then the rest of the episode was pretty annoying. Gotcha. Well, uh, well, going on to the other uh, ape movie, um, we have oh, Kingdom God. of the Planet of the Apes, which is four, right? This is the fourth movie in the franchise for the reboot. And it has been seven years since the last one. Um, I enjoyed those movies. I think that they really, uh, at the time, now looking back at it and current events, like, duh. But, like, at the time, they really fucked up not banking on using James Franco for more of the sequels. Probably. That's, I was actually thinking just now about that. Do you think they'll do, like, a quick flashback? No. He's not. He's not relevant. He's anymore? not. Oh, he's canceled. Yeah. Oh, he's canceled. He's canceled. He's Wait, been why? canceled for a while. We're oh, not, I don't know. It's been, a, it's been years. Oh shit. Uh, have I've, you seen I've, him? I've, no. I yeah, just thought I missed an brother. email. No, you've only seen his brother. Oh yeah, Dave. Yeah, Dave's you cool. have not seen James Franco in anything in the last. We can few years. use Dave. No, I. They look so much alike. But like, the, even back then, like they could have used him for all of the original trilogy, like the first three. They could have because yeah. that was before everything went to shit. Now it's like, but later. now it's it's just like you have new characters, less humans as we go through these uh, movies, guys. Less and less humans until we get to that eventual, which I think that's where they're heading to. I hope eventually is a Did reboot you... retelling of the original movie. Right? Did you watch the original? Yeah, I've watched the original oh, and the Mark that. Wahlberg. Version I saw the original. Mark Wahlberg. I didn't see the original. I've seen the first and original six. four movies. There's six of them, right? Yeah, but I only watched the first four. Oh. Um, so it, it definitely like where they're going and where they can get to. I was really excited for like Planet of the Apes, the Mark Wahlberg version of it. Like at the end of it, I was like, I actually oh, like man, that movie. I can't wait to see like where we're going to go in the sequel. And then that never happened. Yeah, that was a good so movie. That kind of sucked for me. Um, but the only other thing I want to, uh, I mean, to say about it is the visual effects look. 
they look good. I'm not saying they don't look good, but they just look the same as seven years ago. So it's like, I don't know if they were just either really ahead of themselves or they just haven't progressed far in seven years. It's one or the other. Like I'm going to assume though. it's more, it's been more ahead of its time and we're just here, you know? I don't know. It is also a trailer, so it could just be like they could have made that a while ago, and they just couldn't release it for some reason. Maybe with the writer strike and stuff, but I don't know. I, I'm excited for that one. I, I want to see where because this is the 20, start of a new trilogy. Twenty four, twenty five, twenty twenty four. Okay, and then twenty five is the um, Godzilla, right? Yeah. Holy shit. Also coming out in 2025, guys, season two of The Last of Us. Yes, season two of The Last of we Us. We have a lot of uh, delays because Pedro Pascal is Mr. Popular Mr. over Mr. here. Mr. Busy over Mr. here. Mr. Everyone fucking wants him or something. Yeah, so everybody... he's like, hey, I got to do this, I got to do that, but I'll do a little of that I over there. No, okay, I don't like Pedro being from New York anymore. <laughs> Unless he's delivering me a fucking pizza or something. Hey, here's your fucking pizza pie. No. He's got fucking pepperoni. If got I sausage. want Pedro here, I want him to punch me in the fucking face. Are they going to say nuts? No, in the face. I want him to just beat the shit out of me and pretend to be Joel. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's kings. Um, it's, you, you'd want the same. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, you definitely would. No, I wouldn't. I've been watching Cobra Kai guys lately, and I want to kick Oliver in the face. You want someone to beat the fuck out of you? Let's go. I mean, the hospital isn't far. It's not, actually. All right, so if we get two comments, Adam <laughs> will kick me in the face. Um... And then the last thing I want to talk about is uh, Ryan Reynolds actually just came out with uh, a in an interview and said, like, asked a lot of people to stop spoiling everything. Like he was he basically explained that we're trying to get the most practical and best like scenes out in the open for reasons. So it's not all just like indoors, but <laughs> stop fucking taking photos and ruining shit because the point of a movie is for s- surprises. Yo. Like, and We're doing honestly, it and just I us. love that. Yeah. It's, and I know the point of our podcast is to talk about that shit. And the thing but, is, the point of our podcast isn't really to talk about it. It's more the fact of this is just the stuff that gets shown and leaked and it just ends up being in our wheelhouse. But like, I'm not out looking for, I don't, we don't I've look typed, for shit. Yeah. I haven't typed in the word spoilers other than into our own like titles. Yeah. We don't really like look years. for shit. We just, shit gets sent to us for the most part. It gets part. sent to us or just pops up on the feeds and it's just there. And it's like you would think it goes through some senses before it even gets I have to your noticed. feed. Have you ever watched what was the last time you watched a movie where you were going in blind? Like no trailer, no spoilers or anything. No trailer has been a minute. No spoilers. Did, wait, oh no, you watched a and d trailer, didn't you? You went blind with that. Dungeon and Dragons? Yeah. Oh, I saw the trailer. Oh, fuck. I mean, it was everywhere. It's hard not to see trailers these Dude, days. Dude, you scroll. It's one thumb motion. Well, no. I'm talking about, like, anything about a trailer. Like, even screen caps can be on, like, pictures. Like, screen caps is fine. Because you that's just... what everyone does. They screen cap, analyze, circle, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like, but that's what fine. is you, this thing? That right is here? avoidable. You cannot click on that. I don't watch trailers as much anymore because it's normally on Instagram, and normally my sound isn't automatically on, so I won't even know if I'm passing it. It just looks like a black screen because it's like that before I don't, that I don't like trailers so, on Instagram or TikTok because yeah. of the screen portion. I've never seen a trailer on TikTok. Other than, oh, like, oh, they're there. Ads. But like, I don't. That's where actually I, where I saw the Furiosa thing. Oh, okay, that's where I'm. Yeah, Chris is like, hey, I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. So I, for me, I don't think going into a movie blind Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. But I did watch the trailer, but the trailer doesn't tell you anything. But that, like, a lot of the horror movies I've gone to see, yeah, I go in blind for the most part. Like, I think we should go, really goes in yeah, blind. I think we should watch a random movie. So, like, completely blind. Probably. Yeah. Like no trailer, nothing. Like we don't even fucking. We will do a review on a fun. random movie. Yeah, that sounds fun. Uh, in twenty in January, in a couple weeks. Oh, in twenty twenty six. Yeah, twenty twenty when GTA comes out. <laughs> uh, no. Um. Also, guys, we are coming up on our one year of doing this. We've done this for a year. It's been a year. Yep. In a couple weeks. All right. Turn it off. Yeah. I'm done. Uh. <laughs> that was that was the end of my contract. Thank you guys right? for staying with us. If you have, and if you haven't, and you're new, sorry. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you picked out another thing, but anyways, um, we're gonna do some fun holiday things, and then maybe we'll watch a holiday movie, uh, in the next couple weeks, just to like get in the spirit of some shit. So maybe we'll rewatch Home Alone. No, we'll rewatch something Elf. No. All right, this guy. You don't like holiday movies, do you? Do you have a favorite Christmas movie? 
Or do you have a Christmas movie you like? Well, it would be The Grinch. <laughs> Jim Carrey Grinch or Jim Carrey, yeah. Gotcha, okay. Yeah. But no. <laughs> when we watch The Grinch? No. We're gonna watch The Cat in the Hat in January. No, we are not. <laughs> All right. Where can they find you? You can find me on the Sphere Twenty One on any social media platform except for TikTok. I'm Oliver Khan VA. And you can find me at AMR Photography. You can find the studio Archangel Studios official. And you can find this podcast at Nerdlocker Podcast wherever you get them. You know what's crazy? All my friends refuse to watch this because we talk about like spoiler stuff, and no one else is caught up in our friend group. That's funny. Yeah, well, that's their fault. Bye, guys. Oh yeah, bye. <laughs>